In this video, I'm going to try and find the resultant force of these two from these two forces. And uh, once again, I'm going to show you the tip to tail method and the parallelogram method. As before, the first job is to come up with a scale, and I'm going to use one centimeter equals 50 newtons, which will mean each of these is five centimeters long, which is a nice size. So one thing that is important in this is to choose a starting point so you've got space to um, go both up and down. So if I want to do the tip to tail method, I'm going to start by drawing this vector. So I need to measure out 35 degrees carefully. So line up my protractor, 35 degrees. And then I'm going to need to draw in a line that's five centimeters long at that angle. So if we get that lined up nicely. So that's five centimeters long. So that I can label 250 newtons. And now I need to draw my second vector um, going at 35 degrees downwards from the tip of this one in the tip to tail method. So I need to make sure that my protractors lined up with the squares on the paper and then I can mark off my 35 degrees and then draw in um, my 5 centimeter length one again which will look like that to give me another 250 newtons and then the resultant vector I can draw in go from the very start of this one to the end of this one. And when I do that, I get my resultant is going to be equal to. So I'm going to measure this and that looks like 8.2 centimetres which would be um, 8.2 times 50, which is going to give me 400 plus 0.2 times 50, which is going to be 10. So 400 plus 10, that would give me a resultant of 410 newtons. And I don't really need to measure the angle because in this case it's going horizontally. Okay, so I'm now going to show you the same thing again, but using the parallelogram method. So let's get a new piece of squared paper. I'm going to stick with my same scale. So I'll choose my starting point here. And remember, in the parallelogram method, we need to start both vectors from the same place. So reproduce what we've got here. So first job is to get the protractor, carefully line it up with my starting point there and mark off. 35 degrees and then I need to draw that five centimeters long so that it is representing 250 newtons get that all nicely lined up and add my oops, arrowhead there <clears throat> and then I can label that 250 newtons then I need to do the same thing for this one, pop my protractor there, make sure it's carefully lined up, and mark in my 35 degrees. Once again, it's going to be five centimeters long. So line it up. Make sure that's five centimetres long. To draw in the rest of the parallelogram, I need to remember that this angle is going to be 35 plus 35, which is 70. So the angles here and here will be 180 minus 70, which makes 110. So I can draw in <coughs> um, the angle of 110, which will be there and draw in a light line 
measure off the angle here as 110 and draw in line carefully and then my resultant vector is going to be across the parallelogram and if I do that <coughs> that gives me my resultant which if I measure it carefully seems to be maybe 8.3 or 8.4 centimeters so if it was 8.4 times 50 that would give me uh, 420 newtons, which is slightly different to before, but maybe in this case I didn't quite as carefully measure the arrow's length. I think particularly when I drew in that arrowhead, I didn't do a perfect end to it.